All right, so let's let's get started, John. We're gonna we're gonna talk and let you work at the same mm -hmm. time. I know you can do that. I've seen you do it before. The idea behind male Botox mm -hmm. as opposed to female Botox, yep. you know, the idea is the pattern is different and usually the amount is different. Now we're not trying to arch a brow. Usually for men, we have nice brooding, heavier brow. Mm -hmm. So really what I'm doing is we're adding a little more Botox at central. Uh, this is going to be in the area of the glabella. So now I'm going to have him frown for me. And These John, you, elevens were you, you are so right on that, that men and women are so different. We mm -hmm. don't want to feminize a man. You don't want arch brows in a male. You want a straighter takeoff there. Very true. We really want to, uh, you know, taper off the pattern. And Whereas in a female, we would go, you yeah. know, the pattern would come up a little higher just so we could get a little and, bit of a And as you remember from medical school, yeah. all those, all those uh, muscles in the face, mm -hmm. right? You know, mm -hmm. with selective Botox, as, yeah. as Dr. Lakey is yeah. doing, I mean, you can really do some remarkable things as far as shaping the brows mm -hmm. and softening the, the yeah. forehead. But other yeah. things, too, and I think we're going to see John okay. address some other areas. Okay. Dr. Lakey, is there a difference in the dose between what you would give a man versus a woman in, in the office? Definitely. You know, we, men have stronger muscles to begin with in the face, and especially an athlete like Jax. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can imagine as he's bench pressing and he's squeezing his, uh, you know, the, uh, or these uh, muscles around the eye and forehead. Mm -hmm. So we really have to give a higher dose, really, especially around the crow's feet, definitely the glabellar muscles here. And for Jax, also, he grinds his teeth at night, so yeah. he ends up having a much wider jawline. Uh, the other thing that we do really is I add some here next to the, is the nasalis muscle. And really what we're doing is we're softening some of the pull that occurs. So as he makes a big smile, go ahead, smile big, this muscle tends to pull. And so what we're going to do is rather than, uh, you know, if we knock these muscles out, I don't want to form lines along here. So just by adding a little bit next to the nose, that can help smooth that out. And then I'm going to have him bite down. And you can see as a very prominent masseter mm -hmm. muscle, now relax. You remember the masseter and, muscle, oh, yeah. muscle of mastication, mm -hmm. right? And if, if you grind your teeth mm -hmm. the way you chew, yep. I mean, you can build that muscle just out. like anything else. Mm -hmm. That will give you a more square jaw. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I mean, you're going to town there, John. Jax is getting, yeah. the, full, he's getting the full Monty, you know, all these. Mm -hmm. And we see you're doing small um, injections, but... Small doses will, will add up to make you know, pretty big changes on his face. And I gl I'm glad you mentioned it, that with men, you have to be so mm -hmm. careful not to overdo, not to feminize, especially when it comes to the brows. Yeah, it's really important. I think, you know, we, we look at uh, some celebs who I think the, the surgeon themselves has uh, tried to use female patterns and you know, not to name any names, but I think you can think of a few where uh, the, the pattern itself turned out, uh, you know, to, to feminize someone, and it, it wasn't necessarily the look that they were going for. Brotox at its best. Inex. Look at you, Jack. Well, obviously, with results with Botox, it does take anywhere 24 to 48 hours, so you know how it works. The best is yet to come, but I'm sure it's going to be great, and I understand that you have a new movie coming out, you're in a movie with Robert De Niro, is that right? Yes, it's called Wash Me in the River, uh, produced uh, by Randall uh, Emmett. And uh, yeah, right out the gates, I had, had my first scene with, uh, I mean, the legend himself, Robert De Niro. So I was very lucky, very blessed. It was awesome. Listen, John, thanks so much for taking us through live bro talks. Uh, thanks, Jax, for sharing. Wish no, you thanks well. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Wish you and the family well. And uh, John, you may be seeing me soon for some Botox. Okay, bro. Maybe seeing both of us. Soon. <laughs> <laughs>